I'm Katrina, a postnatal corrective exercise specialist who works mainly with mums who have diastasis recti. Alright, so today I'm going to talk to you about engaging your mid TVAs. So we often talk about our lower TVAs which are in here. So if you hit your hip bones and slide in and think of exhaling whilst pulling up your pelvic floor, you will feel those lower TVAs contract just in here. They'll feel like it tightens in this area. Now your lower TVAs actually work independently of your mid TVAs, which are more around your belly button area coming in and around here. Now, the thing with the mid TVAs is normally they are super strong because a lot of us tend to have pulled in our belly buttons earlier in life and that has strengthened our mid TVAs. But sometimes our mid TVAs are weaker than our lower TVAs. So when we work our lower TVAs, our mid TVAs don't actually engage at the same time. And so for those of you who do that, we're going to work on some cues to help your mid TVAs. Now, let me come forward. So I'm going to cut off my head, but this way you're going to be able to see my belly. All right. So when we work our mid TVAs, so these ones around here, the difference is we're going to cue still pulling up our pelvic floor, so that's still going to get those lower TVAs, but this time we're also going to cue pulling our belly button in. Okay, now it's not a cue I use often because when somebody says pull in your belly button, most people do this, right? So on that inhale or when you hold your breath, they go. And that's like sucking in your belly button, which is what we do not want to do because that causes an issue with our pressure system. If we suck our belly buttons in, our diaphragm can't connect with our pelvic floor. And if you think about that balloon, you end up with this bulge at the diaphragm and a big bulge down in our pelvic floor. Don't know about you, but I don't want to be leaking anywhere. So we don't suck our belly button in. But when we cue for our mid TVAs, we cue, pull up our pelvic floor, pull in our belly button on the exhale. So watch, inhale, exhale, pull up, pull in. And did you see how my belly button actually didn't go in like in and my ribs didn't stick up? Instead, my belly button actually went up slightly. Okay, so it's a sneaky little cue to be able to pull up the belly button. But it's a cue that a lot of us understand more than pull up our belly button. So we are going to think of a nice big inhale where our pelvic floor relaxes, our back expands. And then exhale, pull up, pull in. And see how now that flattens that belly button area too. Now. Keys to watch out for is that we don't grip our ribs down. We've talked about that a lot. That puts that pressure out into those mid TVAs and lower TVAs. And that you don't show the ribs, so we don't flare our ribs this way. And you do not ever do it on the inhale or hold your breath. So one last time, inhale, exhale, up and in. Excellent work. Well, that is how you're going to engage your mid TVAs. Now, if this was useful for you and you enjoyed it, please give me a like or a comment below and please share it with other people who you think that you would benefit from this. All right, catch you later.